Chadwell Heath Police. Late in 1839 the intended expansion of the 1829 formed Metropolitan Police. Force from its early central London limits was put in hand. The enlarged area to be taken in was arbitrarily arrived at by including all those local authority areas falling within 15 miles of Charing Cross. This yardstick resulted in the approaches to the metropolis usually being marked by the coal posts erected as a marker for a now defunct tax on coal for the capital in the wake of the Great Fire of London in 1666. It was not until 1965 that progress was to change the significance of this marker as far as Ilford and Chadwell Heath were concerned. In mid-January 1840 60 of the best men the force possessed were marched out to undertake the patrol of the outer district of K Division. This outer area, including the manning of the areas situated at Barking, Beacon Tree, Chadwell Heath, Chigwell, Dagenham, East Ham, Lambourne, Lofton, Wanstead, Woodford and Woodford Bridge, was under the jurisdiction of a single inspector operating from Great Ilford. The Chadwell Heath area, still very rural, was allocated a single sergeant and three constables. As the original station possessed no charging facilities of its own, all prisoners were walked or carried to Ilford to face all charges and subsequent court appearances. In the distribution of the force published in police orders of January 11, 1864, Chadwell Heath was shown as a station with no cells and still unable to take charges. By that date the single sergeant had seven constables under his control. In 1881 a new station for the area was taken over in the Romford Road, this being a very short-lived structure in police service. Surviving documents state that the building in use during 1884 was a poor cottage in use by police only as a place of parade. Whether this property is that situated at 5 Grove Terrace, Romford Road, cannot be confirmed. The Grove Terrace property was rented at £20 per annum from Thomas Hearn of Chadwell Heath for seven years from 25. December 1985. On the 23rd of December 1889 a further new police station site was acquired in the High Road, at the corner of Station Road, from Mr. Pritlove for £400. On this site a new station was built. It was designed by the incumbent chief police. Architect John Dixon Butler, Cost pound two one fifty nine point five point seven d and opened to the public on the twelfth of December eighteen ninety two. Although this building was considerably smaller than the structure that remains evident today, it was far larger than its predecessor and offered two cells and a two stall stable. The old station building was given up on 2040h December 1892. The site of this station is said to be on a plot of land closely associated with pre-police law enforcement. Although the exact prior use is unclear it would seem that the lockup was located there. In addition, the site was directly opposite one of its own predecessors in the Romford Road, now High Road. Chadwell Heath was one of only 14 police stations in Metropolitan. London not to have an ABC wire telegraph fitted by mid tilde 1888. They had to await this simple device being replaced by the more familiar teleprinter. Many years later, the teleprinter's arrival resulted in the station eventually acquiring a pair of shorthand, identity code letters as its telegraphic call. Sign. The initial pair were CH, as in Chadwell Heath, but these were changed. In 1938, as part of a force-wide restructuring, to KH, the first letter denoting that it was on K Division. In a 1904 survey of married quarters situated within operational police stations, it was declared that only a single set, at a weekly rental of four, for the Ilford U.D.C complained about the lack of police manpower in the area. 
In 1932, one of a number of such complaints usually directed at Ilford. Police. It was claimed that police were spending so much time reporting. Minor offences, specific mention was made of cycling on the footway in. Chadwell Heath and traffic speeding along the Eastern Avenue. The complaints were rounded upon by the police who had records of only 19 instances of the cycling offence, 13 of which were dealt with by caution. None of these had been reported at Chadwell Heath. The 126 cases of speeding found, 43 of which were dealt with by caution, led to the speed trap, undertaken with a stopwatch in those days being temporarily suspended. On February 14, 1933 p.c. William Frederick King, 851K, and P.S. James. Bowden were called to a house fire at Chadwell Heath. The two officers rescued a 17-stone bedridden woman who was already herself on fire in the blazing room. Dragging her to safety with great difficulty both officers were themselves overcome by smoke and beat and placed sick for several days. Unfortunately the woman died later in the day from her injuries. Both officers received an award of £10 from the Bow Street Reward Fund and a